Yeah. Hello. Say hello to everyone. The last time I moved, she was she wasn't doing very well. So this time I decided to invest in some de-stressing tools. And amongst all of the products, I decided to go for this calming color. It's from Relaxivet. I would say that if you can afford it, go for the Feliway product. It's I mean it's a um, lot more recommended by vets. Uh, but it's so expensive for me. It's like uh, maybe five times, no, like four times more expensive than this common color. So after hours of reading the reviews, I decided to put on this common color for her. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? She's making something. <laughs> so she started to show symptoms of stress. Like a week before I started to move, I guess because I started to pack everything and move everything around. So I put this on her like a week before I moved and ever since then she's so calm, like I would highly recommend that. This is so good. The first ever tip that I have for you when moving with Kat is get her a cage. You're gonna have to lock her up uh, the first few days unless you have a whole spare room that you can keep it locked all the time. If you don't, then definitely get her a cage just to be safe so that she won't, you know, run around outside and try to come back to the old place. I had people coming over to install new furniture and everything, so it was kind of a mess. I had to put her in this cage so she won't run out. But if you're a cat lover like I am, you probably know by now that cats love to hide. And when they come to a new place, they are really desperate for a safe space for themselves. They can hide away for the whole day. I've noticed that, but... I didn't have enough time and also the house was pretty much empty so after three days or so I <laughs> came up with this temporary house carton house from the furniture box here I I cut out a small hole for her to come in and she loves it she sleeps here the whole day let's see her right now hello Mia <laughs> do you see her eyes she's so cute for the first few days when the house didn't have anything for her to hide, she was actually hiding under this blanket. Yeah, she was just hiding here and sleeping here the whole day and would just come out in the evening after 7 p.m. So with this, with this carton house, she's been loving it. This is her safe space, so definitely get your cat a safe space. This can be anything from, from under the couch, under the bed, or maybe if you have a wooden clothing cabinet then i think cats really love to go behind the drawers but i've got here is is not wood and it's kind of hard for her to come in by herself so this is a no for her she tried to go under here but it's too narrow and she couldn't go through it so once again the carton house was the perfect choice all right that would be it for this video apparently i'm not professional or anything but if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i will try to answer them also if you have anything to share about you and your cat also leave a comment below i would love to read them until next time goodbye